All right, so I'm just now leaving the uh, pre-shelter, which is the uh, famous shelter where people log their con trail confessions. And so that was a lot of fun to read through <laughs> the uh, log book there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be hiking like 15 miles-ish today. Uh, we're gonna be going into the restaurant, um, kind of meeting there. Uh, so it should be pretty easy. A lot of it's gonna be downhill. So uh, there is gonna be one kind of decent climb, but after that, it'll be all done for the day. So looking forward to a little bit easier day after the 22 miles yesterday. So yeah, let's get after it. All right, good morning everyone. So uh, yeah, yesterday was a really fun night. Uh, we ended up going to uh, the restaurant, I believe it, I forget the name of it now. I believe it's called Devil's Backbone, but uh, it's about five miles off trail. We were able to hitch in and uh, ended up staying the night there. They have a really kind of a cool campground set up as well that's free for hikers. Uh, there's some RVers and whatnot that are also there, but yeah ended up uh just kind of hanging out with the crew and uh it's really good to be back with with a group sort of a tramway again uh you know being by myself was nice for about a week but after three weeks of it i was definitely ready to to be back with some folks that were my age i like to kind of go out and, and have some fun while they're in town and blow off some steam so uh yeah so we're looking to do about 15 miles today we're going to stay just outside of waynesboro and then hike in early morning We'll do our chores, and uh, I think the plan is too. We're also going to be aqua blazing, so the Shenandoahs you can rent some kayaks and go and float. I'm not sure how many miles it is. Probably around less than a hundred, I would think. All right. Well, today is the summer solstice, and so it's the longest day of the year, uh, and good thing because we needed. That extra sunlight in order to get to camp in time. It's about seven o'clock. I still got about three miles, but mostly downhill, so it should only take about an hour to get into camp. Uh, roll in about eight o'clock. That should give me plenty of time to do uh, get everything set up and have dinner uh, before the sun goes down around nine o'clock. So. So it's been a fun past few days. We uh, decided to go ahead and aqua blaze part of the Shenandoah River, which is about 80 miles of trail, I think, that we skipped uh, ahead, uh, which uh, quite a few folks do. It's kind of a thing that, that you do through this section of trail, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, we basically took some kayaks and went down the Shenandoah River, and now we are in the National Park. So I think we're gonna try to do about 15 miles today. Uh, they have these little waysides, which are little cafes along the trail, which We'll have some dinner, some food there, which I'm excited for. But yeah, so far it's been fun. Uh, we got, I believe about 80 miles uh, until we get into Harper's Ferry. Oh, also, if you can't tell, I definitely shaved part of the beard off, rocking with the mustache for a little bit. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts, but just uh, wanted to change something up. It's starting to get hot, so the beard was definitely adding to the sweat on my face. It's getting kind of gross, so. Hey, good morning. So uh, yesterday we ended up being a little bit lazy. We originally planned to go about 15 miles and after 10 we hit a wayside, which are these little stores in the Shenandoahs. 
have a little grill. They serve some burgers and fries and other food there. Some blackberry shakes, which were awesome. Uh, it started pouring down rain, and so we decided to kind of hang out and wait for the rain to finish up. It took several hours, and so we got so late, we decided to just go ahead and hike about one more mile and call it a night. So now we've got to do about 20, unfortunately. So <laughs> Matthew's arm, look at that. Hey, good morning. So I uh, slept real well last night. I uh, stayed at the shelter and uh, it was a really nice shelter. So I decided to just call it a little bit early. I'm about three miles behind my group uh, that they went to a tent site a little bit further, but I uh, did stay with two other folks from my group as well, Eli and High Kick. And uh, yeah, it was a, it was a, a nice evening. Uh, we got to go probably about 20 miles here today to make up for it. But yesterday my foot was hurting so badly and i blame it on a couple things one i uh, didn't take any sort of medication for it no uh, painkillers uh, also just being off it for a few days i think my achilles sort of tightened up and i didn't stretch it out well enough uh, also just didn't have my shoe kind of tight enough as i was hiking so just all different sorts of things kind of caused some pain unfortunately but hoping that today will be a good day usually a bad day is followed up by a good one so looking forward to uh, getting out on the trail and uh yeah still hoping to <clears throat> get into harper's ferry in the next few days oh and also some bad news uh, my shirt ripped so i will be purchasing a new shirt here in harper's ferry goodbye gray uh pfg style shirt i guess is a columbia silver ridge though but uh think about doing just a sun shirt after this i think uh we're gonna be more exposed areas after this so figure that would be helpful Ended up doing about 18 miles yesterday, stayed at the shelter, it was a nice little stay. Uh, we're gonna be doing maybe 15, 16 today and tomorrow, and then a final 10 into Harper's Ferry uh, on Friday. So today is Wednesday. I ordered some new shoes. I'm gonna be switching over to the Hoka's. So excited to have those picked up and try them out. Hopefully that'll help with my Achilles and other issues I'm having on that left foot. But uh, yeah, it should be coming up to mile 1000 here today and also starting the roller coaster, so. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's exactly what it sounds like. Just a bunch of up, down, up, down, up, down, and heading into Harper's Ferry. Uh, people talk about it quite a bit, but they've also said it's not as bad as what people say. So we'll see. It's going to be quite a bit of elevation. going to try to break it up into two days uh, so it's not so bad. But yep, let's get after it. All right, coming up to the roller coaster. Let's do this. So just hit the 1,000 mile mark. Uh, we had our buddy there, Jackpot, to greet us and he made a little sign even for us. So that was really cool of him. Uh, Jackpot had to get off trail, unfortunately, due to injury. So but he's been kind of following the bubble around and it's good to see him. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool to be done with 1,000 miles. Still 12, 1,200 more to go though, unfortunately, but uh, I'm only about a mile away from the shelter. I'll be calling an early night. Got one more day, uh, gonna be an easy day, 13, 14 miles. And then I'm actually going to go in and grab some food. All right, good morning, everyone. So I just walked past the Bears Den Hustle, which is uh, just outside of Harper's Ferry, and it is owned by the ATC, actually. It's kind of a cool, this is an old house or something, but it looks like a castle. Uh, very cool place, did not stay there. Uh, I just ended up getting too exhausted, and there's a shelter about three miles back that I stayed at instead. Today, though, there's a brew pub uh, right next door to this shelter, so I'm gonna go and stop in, have some lunch. Uh, apparently, the food is really good there, and I will get back on the trail. 
I uh, think the plan was to go only about 15 miles a day and that will then put us at only needing to do 10 more miles into Harpers Ferry. I'd probably do a little bit further today but there's a no camping zone just before Harpers Ferry so we're going to stay just outside of that. So uh, yesterday I did not do the miles I was supposed to do. We ended up uh, staying at the restaurant for lunch and dinner. And so I ended up only doing maybe about six miles in total. Yesterday we stayed up at a really cool peak and saw the sunrise. And uh, yeah, so now we had to do about 15, 16 miles here today to get into Harper's Ferry, which isn't terrible. I've actually only got a couple miles left. It's kind of a late posting here that I, or recording that I'm doing here, but uh, it did rain just a little bit here today. And so what I'm gonna do is far, as soon as I get into Harbors Ferry, go take my photo at the uh, information center. And that's something that everyone does, kind of a halfway point um, registration that you can do with the ATC. I'm gonna go and get, put my stuff into the Quality Inn. That's where we are staying. And then I am going to go get some food. So excited to relax. I believe we are planning to do a zero tomorrow uh, and then possibly go into DC the following day. So. 